Okay, scrappers. So let me quickly show you what you can find in an old power supply. This is power supply from 1980s computer. It's not functioning. It's in a really poor condition and uh, there are some elements that can be used and some really interesting elements. Look at the size of these capacitors. So unfortunately, they don't have palladium inside. You find only silver in these big ones. But look at the size. Look at the size of these beauties. And I have these two. Let me put them here. And I have another three here. Let's cut them. Just to have more, more space. So, K15-5. Amazing capacitors. But uh, this is not the reason to scrub this board. The reason to scrub it is here. Uh, these are the biggest blue Bulgarian capacitors I have ever seen and scrubbed. So, uh, let me quickly cut a couple of them. Pretty big. It's this size I haven't seen before in nice capacitors. Let's check these ones. Oh, this is even better. I lost this one, but I'll find it later. It's here. It's here. Don't disappear. So, and here, look at this. Oh, this is a nice surprise. I'll try to break this red one to show you what we have here. Come on. There are many eggs on the bottom. Probably ten. So I have to break all of them. Or cut all of them. Look at this beauty. Okay, inside this ceramic module you have MLCCs. And here, if you look at it, you'll see that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven MLCCs only in this one. And it can be checked, it's from 1989, February. So this goes to the good palladium containing pile. And there is another one hidden here. Look at it. So, what else do we have interesting on this power supply? We have this resistor here hidden. Let me clean it up a little bit to show you. Maybe I can clean my fingers too. So, look at this beauty. SP540. 1 kilo ohm. So, this is a good resistor. We have at about point 0, 0 0.01 gram of palladium in this one. If it was under 100 ohms, it will be more probable. But this one is 1000 kilo ohms. Uh, 1000 ohms. 1 kilo ohm. So let's check what else interesting we have here. Of course, we have these nice chips, these ICs. They probably have gold legs inside gold plating on the legs and gold uh, wiring so it's a good idea to check them we have this huge 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 capacitors everywhere and transformer and really old school nice uh, stuff so let's quickly Remove all these capacitors. It's really interesting to me how much blue Bulgarian capacitors I will find in this power supply. I actually checked these fans and it turned out that they're working not on 12 volts as the computer ones. They're working on a uh, 
220 volts. So these are really good for some other project because you don't need a transformer to reduce the voltage to 12. You can directly connect this to the outlet and get this fence running. So that's a really good catch in this power supply that can be used in other projects. And here are the big ones. Look at this. I'm cutting the small ones and the big ones are just in front of me. Look at this beauty. Enormous capacitors. I've never seen that big Bulgarian ones from the Wu series. And this is a nice transistor. I have to break it. Maybe we have gold inside. So let's check this. No, this one is white. No gold inside, but many times inside these transistors you have gold plating. Uh, so you can easily check them. Just break a little bit like this and you can check what's inside. You can do the same with the small ones, like these transistors. Sometimes you also have gold plating in them. So you can break it a little like this and look inside. No, it's white. No gold plating. But let's continue with the uh, capacitors because here is the value. Uh, I, I see values in the palladium that we have on this board and I will continue work on it and show you at the end how much I got. Okay guys, I'm done with this power supply. Look at the result at the end. I removed everything containing palladium more or less. So let's check now what we have. I'll take my scale and I'll remove this enormous piece of steel. Okay. So let's clean up a little. And let's see what we have. Here we go. Uh, this is our scale. And let's check. Was it a good idea to scrub this old power supply? And did I really get palladium or I got sunny silver? Because these huge capacitors, look at the weight. It's 12 grams each. Look at the size of this. So, these capacitors, they are huge, but they contain only silver. So I'll just put them. Uh, I'll stockpile them and process them from time to time when I have nothing to do. I hope silver will be really expensive someday. Let's check the blue ones. Two grams, three grams. Four, five, six point two, six point eight, six point nine gram grams of, of blue Bulgarian capacitors. It's not bad. I mean, they are not as good as the brown ones. These are Bulgarian brown ones, but only four and only small ones. But um, What's interesting to me is uh, to check the weight of these big ones. So it's 6.9, 6.2, at about 0.7 gram are only these big capacitors. And actually inside of them you have an MLCC hidden. And this MLCC, the bigger is the capacitor, the bigger part of the weight goes to the MLCC, not to this uh, blue coating on top. Uh, I'll show you probably in a video how I remove this blue stuff and how I get the MLCCs inside. I use uh, DMSO, D-methyl sulfoxide, uh, and all this blue stuff after some time in D-methyl sulfoxide will be easily removed. Let's check the 
brown ones. 0 0.5, that's okay. I mean, I don't process the, that small ones. I process only big uh, capacitors because um, there's no point to waste chemicals and time for the small ones. Inside of these small MLCCs, you have a you have a really, really small piece of with palladium content. And maybe the interesting part are these two. Look at this. These are really good quality capacitors inside. And in each of these, uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight MLCCs are hidden in each one. You can look on the other side. They're from uh, 89, 1989, February is this one. Let's check the other one. Uh, same story. So they're from the same year and same month. And these resistors are really interesting because uh, here you have this small screw you can adjust. Uh, and it's one kilo ohm, it's 1000 ohms, SP514. In these resistors we have a palladium. And I'll show you where is this palladium now. Let me break it quickly. I'll break it like this. So there are resistors in which this wire here is, contains also palladium. But they usually uh, are not hundred or thousands uh, kilo ohms. They are 100 or below ohms. They're smaller ones. So let me show you exactly where the palladium is hidden here. Here it is. This small contact contains palladium. 0 0.01 gram of palladium is hidden here. I'll just put it on top of the scale not to lose it. Maybe we can check the weight of it. That's a good idea. If we can see the total weight Okay, no, this scale cannot show us, so let's use something. So this is 2.29 and putting this on top, no, nothing. It's uh, at about 0 0.01 gram. Here we go, I usually take this collect them, stockpile them, and process them on batches when I have it about a hundred, something like this. This was everything for today. Thanks for watching.